Hi guys, welcome back to Welsh Wargaming. Um, today's video, I'm going to be showing you um, some things I've got to uh, expand on my 8th army. Um, I was thinking of a few things to get, so what I decided to do, I decided to do um, an SAS detachment to um, run alongside my 8th. So uh, I've got, I picked up the British Commonwealth Infantry Box. Um, it's basically like the, the same infantry box you get with the 8th army box itself, the same as Bruce, but it just comes with different head variations. Um, I've had a little quick look and I can, it looks pretty similar to uh, what you get apart from the heads. It comes with, it comes with some brilliant head options. The Australians, South Africans, New Zealand, um, you get to do the, that's the one I'm more interested in, the long range desert group um, or the SAS. Uh, so I'll be using them for both. Um, it's a it's a really nice box. Thirty um, infantry or thirty f models. Um, I'm hoping to get as many SMGs as I possibly can out of it. Um, I think I've got a few sprues left on my eighth army box, so I'll probably uh, go and cut a few off that. So I think I've got a few spares. I think I think I did mostly rifle squads off that um, that box. Um, my plan is to do three six man units of SMGs. Um, I'm gonna make two models. Are gonna make into uh, um, like a HQ choice, or uh, maybe a HQ choice and a medic. Um, and the, the remaining ten, I think I'm gonna do um, a nine man infantry squad with rifles and LMG, just to uh, beef up what they find I got. And I was thinking I might do them. I like the Australian or the New Zealand ones, but um, I am decided yeah. But uh, it's a nice little box. Um, quite um, quite reasonable really for what you're getting it. Like 30 models in bolt action is quite a fair bit, as you know. Um, I've been looking in the Western Desert book, and the, um, the selected in it lets you do an SAS on a standalone army. So it's three SAS Jeeps. Um, no, well, not the three SAS Jeeps, I think it's not the three LRGG, the three CWT, um, the cutoff trucks. Uh, which is like the mo the famous um, long range desert patrol group truck itself. Um, you can take uh, on each one. I think you can take like a ridiculous amount of LMGs or LMGs. You can just turn them into like hedgehogs of LMGs. Like so, it should be fun. Um, like I said, it comes with like a bit of a painting thing. But uh, I've got I'll do them the same way I did my eighth army. So obviously the berries will be beige because they didn't really have red berries until 1944 or something like that when he was taken the SES was taken under the airborne so when we doing a red berry they'll have their beige berry berries or they'll have the um the Arab headdress or the um the bobber hat they very rarely wore those to be honest with you you do see them in the um you know, propaganda films but it's only with um sandstorms and for the cameras really to make them look a bit more stand out but most of all you'll see them with their hats on and they uh, maybe they buried because they was uh they basically just there was a bit of a ragtag group the SES when he first started off. Um, it's uh it's worth reading up on them. To be honest, it's uh it's a good issue how they started off. But I have bought three um thirty CWTs. Um, these guys here are from Paint and Glue Miniatures. Um, it's a three D printing service. So I bought three of them. They do come with the different options because you can do the twin Vickers. So, which is always cool. Um, I have got some machine gun spare. Um, but it, I tell you what, for the price, I'm really impressed with the quality. I'll be honest with you. Some really nice detail on the trucks. Uh, a little bit of clean up here to do in there, but you know, if with the resin kit, you still have clean up to do. So I think. Um, the usual price for one of these going is 18 to 22 quid or something like that, maybe. 15 to 20 quid. I can't really think off the top of my head. Uh, might be a little bit more. But um, I had them for £9 each. So I had three. Well, I bought five, but uh, two of them were from my, one of my mates who wanted some as well. I always wanted to try out the 3D printed ones. And then they also do come with these little stickings. For the machine guns, which is pretty neat. Oh, I can't get that one in one hand. Uh, like that. Um, it doesn't. They don't come with crew, but I have got um, spare universal carrier crew that came with the fan box. 
So I'm, th I'm thinking of getting some of that blue mould stuff and maybe moulding just the drivers. And I, I can always kit bash a guy standing on the back pretty easily on show. Um, I don't want to overload the crew. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with them anyway. Um, you know, can't really fault it for £9 each. Um, I, it's worth checking them out. Um, my issue with, like, I love I love Rubicon kits. I do like the Warlord kits. Some people don't like them, but I personally like them. But I find it hard to pay, like, 20 something quid for a model, which is like a soft skin vehicle, open topped, you know, got a couple of machine guns on it, or like even trucks, you know, things like. Like a quad tractor, what's what's quad tractor? Twenty five points in the like off the top of me, I can't remember. But it's a round down mark, so you're paying the same amount of money as you would buy like a king tiger for like twenty five quid. So to in, I know it, it's in the game, but to, in my head, it just don't make any sense. Why would I want to pay twenty odd quid for something which in the game is probably not going to last a couple of turns because it's soft skinned, open topped, so it's open to small arms fire, so it's easily pinned out the game. So like when you come to say like buying a Panther kit from Rubicon, eight nineteen pound from Firestone Games, and then you buy one of these like eighteen twenty quid, it's like. So I I I was always I've been looking other places to get them. I I would have ended up going them from Warlord if I couldn't find any, but um, Reese uh, busy bristles pointed me in the direction of these of um, painted glue miniatures and said I should check them out, and I did, and I'm really impressed by the range they do. Um, I messaged I messaged the um, the guy on Facebook as well to ask him um, if he'd done the SES jeeps because the same again with the SES jeeps um, I need a, I need at least three um, I'd like a couple more different variations Rubicon do a really nice one and it comes with all the options so I am probably going to pick up a Rubicon one uh, probably might use it as a command the SES jeep I don't know but uh, I messaged him I said do you do the jeeps he said um, we can um, he sent me some pictures of him. Um, of the earlier prints he'd done and even the earlier prints look really good but like he said now where he's got his 3D printer um, like more finely tuned they come out a bit finer like it, it's hard to see but if you can see there are little tiny see the lines but I think in a little a little tidy up a little bit of a sand and when you've got paint on it I don't think you're going to notice it to be honest you um, especially on a table um, he, he got everything on it British, French I think Italian I've seen um, American um, limited American ones but he, it does say on it that if it's a vehicle you want, email them, because not all the vehicles they print are on the website, so uh, it's worth checking them out. I personally would. I'm I took a bit of a gamble because I've never used a three D printing model before, um, but I'm happy to be honest with you. You know they're really nice quality, as you can see. Um, I'll tr I'll get a model to scale them. Um, in two seconds. I should have thought of this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use a, a German because my um all oh, my British are packed away. But I play I um had a game last week with him against the DAC force, which was nice. So if you look at a guy um an SES troop next to it, oh SES troop, an SS troop next to him. You no, know, about the same scale as Warlord. Um this is a Rubicon SCKFZ7. Um these in real life were ridiculously massive. They are huge. They are massive vehicles. So uh, I think it lines up quite nice. I think it do. I'm happy with it. So um, if you do want some transport vehicles, or I'd be honest with you, the tanks look pretty good. Um, he's got a Ferdinand on it, which um, I'm having a hand about because uh, I do like I do like to have a good collection of tanks. I don't really use them much, but they look pretty cool. Um, I check them out. So it's paint and glue miniatures uk. And uh, they got all sorts on it. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Um, as always. Uh, my video's been slow lately. Because um, I've been in all day. Uh, I've been really busy with work and the kids and all that nonsense. But, uh, hopefully you'll see this SES force grow. Um, add some Jeeps to it. And, uh, hopefully some updates soon. So, uh, thanks for listening. And, happy hobbying. Hey guys. So, um, I've been putting together... Uh, the SES or the Long Range Desert Patrol Group um, Infantry from the Commonwealth Infantry Box. <coughs> um, what I've noticed is there's only nine SMGs in the box. Um, so if you if you buy this box just to do SAS, um, you know you obviously want your five or six man squads. 
um, with SMGs, then you're not going to be able to... My original plan was to make three squads of six with SMGs, if you need an 18. So what I've had to do is I've had to go with my sprues, and um, I've kit-bashed a few, basically. So these guys here are the ones which have... Um, these guys here are the which ones have got the SMGs from the actual box. Um, his left... His um, left hand there... Um, I cut that hand off um, a US infantry sprue with binoculars uh, to make him the, so he'd be the commander of the, the, um, the squad just to make him a little bit more stand out a bit more. Uh, this guy, I give him a potato masher. Um, obviously, cut his hand, cut the hand off, um, stuck a different hand on with um, and stuck a potato masher in it. Uh, I think a bit of green stuff and a bit of filing. I don't think you'll notice that much. Um, I've been reading a book about them and the guys who were there, um, they prefer the potato mashers because they could throw them further, so they could they take them whenever they could really. So uh, they go together quite nice, a um, little bit of gap here, I don't think you'll see that when it's undercoated. So they're the guys there, which um, you have to use put the box. I have kept a couple to do, so each squad have got a few like proper Thompson SMGs and then a few squads in. It'll be mixed with um, Thompsons and uh, MP40s, so uh, there's like a proper Tommy gun there. I think that came from like the winter, I think it's a Russian machine gun, I think it came from the winter inf um, German infantry box. Uh, this guy here has got an MP40, uh, that's how this is, is. Um, long sleeves, so I might paint that jacket um, a different colour, to like just to show where maybe got like... Um, like an infantry jacket on. Uh, I, I don't think I mind too much. I think I, I want my SES to look quite ragtag. Because, uh, you know, they did beg, borrow and steal their um, equipment. And they, they'd use whatever they could get their hands on. So um, I don't think it's going to look too bad. I think that's from an American um, infantry sprue as well. With the, uh, so you've got one arm with a short sleeve. And one arm with long sleeves. Uh, this guy I've botch to make him look like he's carrying the mine so that's not too bad so yeah so um i did end the video um i didn't i didn't post it because i didn't have time but when i'd be making these i uh, well i should have realized from the um, eighth army box but i thought maybe because he had this um, sas in here they might give him extra smgs but they don't so just bear in mind that uh if you do get this box just to make sas um, you're gonna need SMGs, but I'm sure like most of us have got piles and piles of sprues with some sort of SMG on them. Like I said, I've used MP40s um, from the German infantry, the um, SS box, the German winter infantry box. I've used all sorts of bits. So I'm gonna go from all again. I'm gonna just take basically any equipment that I can find, boxes, um, any ammo crates, and just pile it all maybe in the jeeps. Uh, just to make sure that just to make it look like they've just piled equipment in here. Do you mean because um, they were in the desert for quite a while? So uh, so yeah. So thanks for watching, and uh, good luck with any projects you're up to, and um, I'll speak to you soon. Thank you very much.